it's Lisa again at Art Journaling Adventures for Beginners, and I just had an amazing adventure. I went to one of my favorite stores in the area called Second Avenue, and I love it because they always have crafty kind of stuff marked down to like a dollar or 50 cents. If you get half price, you're even better off. And I found these amazing things. I've never heard of them before, and they are chalk palettes. They're just called Chalks by Pebbles, Inc. Don't know if they're still available, but they were um, just so much fun to play with. So, and I, what I love about playing with new stuff, and it's one of the things that I really enjoyed uh, about getting into art journaling, is it just allows me to, to experiment without having expectation. So I sat down and I thought, well, I'm just gonna play and see what they do. They each set comes with this little alligator clip pencil type thing. And you, they have little cotton balls. Hold this up a little closer. They have these three different size little balls that come with it. And you attach the alligator clip to it and then you rub it on the color that you want. And then you just kind of rub it on your um, paper. And you could even use, I was thinking maybe I might even use um, Q-tips because they would even be smaller than the smallest thing. Anyway, so I just decided I'm gonna play with it a little bit and I ended up doing this and it's not what I intended to do at all and it was so much fun that I thought I would share with you what it would be like to work with these in case you feel like experimenting with something new whether it's chalks or paints or whatever and I thought I would just play. I like to start out with something dark in the middle and so I'm just going to arbitrarily pick a color. I'm going to go with this blue and I think I want kind of a big big blue in the center. For whatever reason, I want a big blue. So I'm just gonna do, and what I love about this is it takes no water, there's no erasing. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna cover it over with something else or put more colors on it. And I'm just doing round and rounds. I'm not trying to make it look like anything. I have no idea what this is gonna look like when I'm done. It may just be something abstract, I don't really know. Yeah, I kinda like that, that's kinda cool, all right. And then I think I'm gonna use something, let's see, maybe go, I love purples, so maybe we'll go to the purples. And I have two different purples here, but I think I'm gonna go with this bright one, maybe. Let's try this one, but I think I wanna go with it just a little bit smaller. I don't want tons of purple on this. So I'm gonna take this, it has a little tiny, can you see that? It's a little tiny cotton ball. And just dab it in there a little bit. I don't know, maybe I'll do some in the center. Don't think I'll do a lot of it. I think I just do some over here. Oh yeah, I love that. It's kind of cool because you're just like rubbing it. You know, you're not really, I don't have to have any kind of drawing skills because you really can't draw with it. It's kind of a little bit like watercolors, but without the water. Gosh, that's really pretty. Might have to play with that a little more. I think I'm gonna do some, some more stuff over here. And I'm gonna do some stuff over here. I don't know, I'm just kind of liking this purple, but I don't I don't think I want it to be, I have a feeling this is gonna end up being a flower again. <laughs> I think I just tend to make flowers, I don't know. They make me happy, I think. I should, I, I guess I should try making straight lines. That's the thing, if I make circles all the time, so when you make circles, you kind of end up with flowers. But I'm thinking this might be a snowball bush. I don't know if you're all are familiar with snowball bushes, but this is kind of what this is reminding me of. All right, I've got some of that. I think I'm going to do a little more, maybe out here a little bit. I don't know why. I think because I'm filling in a space. And that one, see, that kind of made a line. So I don't think I want really a line. I think I want a little smudgier. All right. And then maybe let's try, what color do you think? How about, hmm, I'm thinking maybe some pinks. I don't know if I want really a bright, bright pink. Kind of like this color. This is another purple, but you know what? I think I'm gonna do a really big swath of this purple. And maybe I'll try stripes and see what happens. All right, we'll just, we'll just experiment. And I'm gonna do a stripe and a stripe and a stripe. And then I'll go back and get rid of, it's got a little chalky dust on there, so I might go back and smudge this a little bit. Oops, this thing comes out. Not really a big deal. All right, let's see what happens if I smudge this just a little bit more. And as you can tell, like, there's nothing, nothing fussy about this. This is not, 
I'm not trying to draw the Mona Lisa or anything. This is very, very smudgy. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do with this after I'm done. I've got a art journaling pen pal, so I may cut it up into tags or something. If you've watched my tag journal, I may cut it up into tags and make something else out of it. All right, so I've got that on there. Now I think, now that I've done this, I think it needs, I need to go back and use a little more blue again because I'm kind of starting to feel a, something's kind of taking shape here. So I think I'm gonna go up here and do a little blue up here. And see, I'm doing it right over what I had before. So it doesn't really, not really, not really mattering a whole lot. And that's what I love about art journaling. Like I'm not, I'm not, th th like there's, th th there's no expertise. I, I don't know anything about what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just doing. And anybody can just do, you know, anybody can just do this and just say, oh, what happens if I put this color next to that color? And what happens if I edge it in purple? And what happens if I put a little green in here? So now I'm just trying to like, I have blue in the middle. So I thought I'd put kind of blue around the rest of the page. That's really all I'm doing, but I don't have to do that. Just kind of what I decided to do. I want a little more up here in the corner, I think, to kind of even everything out. All right, now I think I need to go back and use a little more purple and kind of add the purple like I did to the other, other one. I think I just want just little, little accents of purple around here someplace, just so you can see the, the colors are repeating. So I had it kind of to the center of the blue there, so I'm just going to put it to the center of the blue here. I don't, honest to gosh, I don't know if these are still available, but they are, and you are nervous about arting at all. Man, this is a great way to start arting because really, seriously, you're just you're just messing with stuff. Just messing with stuff. And that you know, that would make a really pretty, I know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a crosswise hatch on there. Um, I think this would make a very pretty card. So I have two tones here. I'm gonna use the um I use the darker of the plummy kind of mauvey color. I'm gonna use the lighter one this time. And I'm actually gonna go cross hatch like a basket a little bit, just to kind of give it a little more pattern. Put a line where I didn't want it, but you know what? I really don't care because it really doesn't matter. I think that's really fun. I would love to draw something on top of it. So let me see what that looks like. Let's take one of my, um, this is a Faber-Castile uh, Pit Artist pen. And let's see, what would I draw on top of this? Now granted, this is not for everybody, but certainly this part, anybody can do this part. And see, I'm even smooshing it around a little bit. It's looking good. I think I'm gonna put a butterfly up here, so let's just go ahead and Oh, a butterfly, but you can see how nice the um, marker looks on top of this. Okay, and then we'll just draw this, cover this in a little bit. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it in with darker. All right, let's take the chalks and see if we can, if we can make them. I've got really dark colors over here, so I think we'll try that, and that'll be done. I just wanted to share this with you because it is fun, fun, really fun, fun, fun. So I have this dark palette over here, and they're kind of the richer, earthy tones. They call these, yeah, they call these earth tones. There you go. And I'm going to go for the really deep plum on this because I think that's going to look really pretty. And we'll just color some of this in really, really dark. If I can, let's see what I can get this done. And see, I can't even, like, I can't even color it in right. So it's not, you know, it's not like kindergarten where you're going to get marked off for going outside the lines. I really can't even hardly get in the lines. So it really is just going to get some, just, just some, 
a touch of color here because that's all I can really do. And it's going outside the lines, and I am completely okay with that. All right, and what other color since my... um. Let's let's put something a different color in there. Let's go for like maybe a turquoise. Do I have a turquoise? Yes, I do. Let's go for a turquoise and let's do a little tinier dot. I don't know who invented these, but these are really cool. And I think I'm going to do the turquoise right here in the middle. But you see that like I like it just it's just going to go where it's going to go. So I don't have to feel fussy about <gasps> did I get outside the line? Did I make it perfect? Can't make it perfect. Can't. Because there's no perfect to it. It is an imperfect medium to work with. I think I'm going to make that one turquoise. Okay. And maybe I would like some pink. Let's see. I don't know. Let's try that pink. See if we can get any pink in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Just see if we can kind of do it along the outside. And it's kind of going all over the place. And that is completely okay. There we go. That, that little dot right there, that definitely needs a different color. Let's go back and grab my purple one one more time and get some, see if I can get some color in there. Anyway... That is all there is to it. It's just about playing. And let me take, um, what color will I make the body? Let's make the body something cool. How about a green? Let's use a green for the body. I'm gonna use kind of an earthy green, I think. Oops, little, these little cotton ball things are like flying all over the place. I'm probably gonna need a small one to get in that little crease. Let's try this one. You know how tidy these little balls are? That's why I think a, um, a Q-tip would work really, really well. And I think since I did that green, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little green just a little bit in here. Not a lot, just a little tiny bit. That'll brush off a little bit so it doesn't look quite so much. I'm gonna turn that around so I can Kind of got a little, yeah, see, I brushed it away. Didn't really want quite that much on there. So I just smudged it in. And there we go. Add some antenna on this. He is really fun. And maybe I would write, oh, let's see, what's a good saying to put on here? You... are beautiful. There we go. And I could decorate it more, but I just wanted to see this fun medium that I found. I mean, this is really fun. So look for, they are called Pebbles Classic Chalks. And they're, I don't know, I don't know if they're chalk chalk, if they're pastels, I don't really care, I don't need to know. Um, but they are lots of fun to play with, even if you don't know how to art. This is Lisa saying, thanks for creating with me.